Mom, are we on Saturn? Nope. This amazing desert is located on planet Earth. This incredible landscape is in Eastern California, right next to Nevada. Come join us as we explore Death, Death Valley, Valley National, National Park. Park. Death Valley is known as the hottest and driest place on Earth. The record temperature is 134 degrees, which was set in 1913. Well, I'm glad we went in the fall. Our first stop was to Zabriskie Point. This location is a favorite for tourists at sunrise due to its unique, colorful rock formations. Death Valley is the largest national park in the lower 48 and covers over 3.4 million acres. That means there's a ton of cool things to see. Next stop, Mosaic Canyon Trail. This canyon is named for its unique rock formations known as breccia, where fragments of various rock types are naturally cemented together, forming mosaic-like patterns on the canyon walls. This canyon is also famous for its smooth, polished marble, formed from a type of limestone called dolomite. Over thousands of years, flash floods have eroded the stone, giving it a glossy, sculpted look. The Mosaic Canyon Trail is a hidden gem in Death Valley. It is often less crowded than the other attractions. This hike is about two miles round trip and quickly became one of our favorite hikes ever. This has been my favorite hike and you will see why soon. What kind of animals are we looking for? Well, mostly the animals here that I don't like is scorpions, tarantulas, and snakes, rattlesnakes. Are you okay? <laughs> Thanks for warning me. <laughs> but yeah, scorpions, tarantulas, and snakes, snakes, snakes and a chuck wagon. Chuck wagon. This part of the trail, you can decide if you want to stay on low ground or check out the high ground. We chose to do the high ground, but I made the mistake of going a little too high. Fun fact, I'm scared of heights and immediately regretted this decision. Help. Dad to the rescue! Good job, Mom. I made it back down safely. We're all good. Time for my snacky snack. And a little more exploring before we head back. On our way back, we discovered a very slippery portion of the trail. We did see people slip and fall trying to get down. We decided the best way to navigate this part was to slide. Whee! <laughs> Get out, of the way. Get out of the way, I'm gonna do it. Our next stop is to the most famous volcanic feature in Death Valley. Welcome to Yubi Hebe Crater. This crater is a half mile wide and 600 feet deep. It formed 2,000 years ago when magma contacted groundwater, 
causing a powerful steam explosion. very hard to walk on this. <laughs> The trail goes around the entire crater, offering different viewpoints. But the volcanic rocks were really hard to walk on. Area underneath the area, actually volcanoes, like lava and magma, and then it, it fit when it erupts. It's just lava. Is it an active volcano? I think. I don't know. Although dormant, scientists believe the Ubi Hebe crater area could potentially experience volcanic activity, as magma still exists below the surface. This trail also takes you to the Little Hebe Crater. While smaller than the Ubi Hebe Crater, it is still impressive. The sun was starting to set, so we had to hurry to get to our last stop. Welcome to Badwater Basin, the lowest point in North America. Badwater Basin is 282 feet below sea level. The vast salt flats were formed from the evaporation of ancient lakes, leaving behind thick layers of salt. Today, the basin's salt flats are one of the most iconic landscapes in Death Valley. Do you see that white mark on the mountain? That's sea level. This area was once part of a large freshwater lake called Lake Manly which filled the valley during the last ice age. As the climate warmed and dried, the lake evaporated, leaving salt deposits behind. In the summer, temperatures in this area regularly reach above 120 degrees. Despite its low elevation, it can also experience surprisingly cold temperatures in the winter. We experienced quite a temperature flux throughout the day. It was 91 degrees when we left the Mosaic Canyon Trail, mid 50s and windy at the Ubi Hebe Crater, and in the 70s at Badwater Basin. If you plan to visit Death Valley in the fall or winter, wear layers. That wraps up our journey through Death Valley National Park. There are so many unique areas in this park we will definitely be visiting again. From the sweeping sand dunes to surreal salt flats, it's a place like no other. That's why we believe Death Valley National Park is the most underrated national park. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, happy hiking! There, just keep going. Go. Ah. <laughs> that hardy, 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 hardy.
for our choice of most overrated national park, check out our journey about Yosemite National Park. If you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell to be notified when new videos are available.